Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here and it's time for a Thursday shave. I'm gonna be trying out, uh, man, I got a lot of mail calls too. I got a package from my friend John who lives in Poland. He's sent some stuff out for me. I've got uh, some new soap uh, that I've gotta be trying out. And I got a package over the weekend uh, from my friend Burke who uh, asked me if I wouldn't mind trying out a new razor from the Haircut and Shave Company. So what he did is, uh, this is actually his razor. So he said, you wanna, you wanna give it a shot? Now, he didn't send me a handle so uh, to try, so I'm using my Maggard handle there. But this is a prototype that I believe is gonna be in production, is it in a month? I'm looking at my notes. It's a uh, prototypes aluminum. Very, very precise machined piece of equipment here. Very, very precise. I believe it's got a gap of a 0.75 millimeter blade gap, neutral exposure. Uh, oh, that's it, production available in April. So they're gonna be coming out with a uh, stainless steel handle, a stainless steel top cap, and a hard coat aluminum base. So uh, this will be coming out soon, and I just appreciate him giving me the opportunity to try this out. He also sent me his personal brush to try out from Haircut and Shave Company, but I'm not gonna do it, because uh, I feel, first of all, I feel bad. This is a beautiful brush. I, I've gotta return these items to him. So can you imagine if this wasn't completely dry after I'm used it, and I put it in a package and I ship it back, across the US. I don't want uh, I don't want any mildew or anything in this. But this is another brush. This is a 2018 version from the Haircut and Shave Company. What I will be using though is my Haircut and Shave uh, brush, uh, synthetic. And as we're talking, I'm going to uh, let me set this down here. I'm gonna put it into my crystal skull. You don't really need to soak. I don't really need to soak or feel that need to soak a, a synthetic brush, but uh, I'm gonna put it in here anyway. And uh, you've seen me use this brush before. Yeah, I, Burke, thank you for sending me your brush. I know it's a high mountain badger. I, uh, beautiful, beautiful brush. Oh, just beautiful. One hell of a knot on that. I just, uh, I'm gonna feel bad shipping this back if it's got any moisture in it at all. I don't want anything to happen to it. So I'm gonna set this aside right now. For the uh, shave cream, we're gonna use some uh, Haircut and Shave Company, uh, the Barbershop Shave Cream, and I'm gonna pair that with, here we go, American Blend by Fine. So, should be a good shave today. Uh, razor blades, here we go. I'm gonna use an Astra today. I haven't used the Astra Green in a while. People were asking me about it. I said, we'll see what we can do. So I'm gonna load an Astra into this. I am jazz, guys. It is, uh, it's about uh, 12.30 right now, and I've got a pinball machine being delivered to me. Brand new in the box, coming from uh, Chicago, uh, from Stern Pinball. It will be arriving, they give me a window, one to four. So I'm very looking forward to this. Uh, I figured, hey, since I've got a little downtime before they arrive, I will uh, do a shave video, because it's been a while. All right. See the uh, lining up notches on that? See how that goes in? And then you can see the slots that the notch is going on that. Ooh, nice tight fit. And this is a kind of a universal thread, so you can use any handles you want on it. I like my uh, Maggard handle because it's uh, easy to hold. It's got the finger grooves. I've got nice blade alignment there. So it looks like it should be a good shave. I'm gonna mix it up in the uh, copper shave bowl from Captain's Choice. This was a last minute idea. I thought, eh, I'll just mix that uh, stuff right up in the, uh, right up in the uh, bowl here, but this is a soft, very soft shave cream. So I'm gonna get my 50 pence piece out. It's kind of slick. I still got some soap on it from last time. 
Okay, rinsing it off. Okay, I got my 50, my British 50 pence piece. Let me get some of that. Oh boy, it scoops this right up. Put it in the bowl. Got it in the bowl right there. Very soft. Let me wet my face and get this started. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I am jazzed today. It's going to be a good day. Whoops. Don't drop his notes. He is a kind of a calligrapher. He wrote me these cool notes. Look at that penmanship. Let me move that over here. Don't want it to fall into the sink. Let me get my haircut uh, and shave company brush out of there. Shave off some of the... Uh... Right away. Right away. Get some of the soap out of there. Add a little more water, maybe. Don't want it to be too uh, dry. Really nice. Nice lather. I was catching up on a lot of comments today. It's been a while. I apologize. It's been a big week. Got to do a lot for my birthday over the weekend. Saw that movie, uh, us went to Disneyland. It was packed, packed. It's a holiday, uh, it's spring break week, and a uh, uh, lot of kids got a chance to go with my daughter, and uh, got to go on eh, about four rides, have lunch in the park. But since I bought that annual passport, I think I paid three fifty for that passport, and I've been like fifteen times. So that thing has paid for itself, gentlemen. It has paid for itself. All right. You know, when you put a new razor against your skin, I can just feel that this is very precisely cutting. Very precise cut. Feels very mild. Big change from that R41 and the R41 Tribute I was using in the last shave. For all the people that watch my videos just to exclusively see shaving videos, I will be releasing a video in the next day or so, the unboxing of that uh, Munster's Pinball and... Uh, some gameplay, I ended up buying, a, or got a bunch of gifts from my uh, relatives, uh, family, for it. So I'll be putting some modifications onto it. This feels smoother than my Mercure 34 C&G. Feels like I could really go to town on this and have to really try to nick myself. Turning it. I want to continue to thank you for supporting the channel and uh, subscribing. I do appreciate it. I've got like 10,700 now, man going to be another giveaway before you know it. I've been binge watching pinball videos lately on how to unbox. I don't know about you, if you're a collector, Okay, that just went. Someone says, hey, what's that noise? There you go. There's the noise. About every nine minutes, this thing blows out air freshener. And uh, I get you comedians saying, oh, yeah, are you sure that's air freshener? Or is it you blowing out uh, uh, air? And uh, no, it is that air freshener. It smells like jasmine in here now. Smart Alex. Well, 
that razor did good on that first pass. Look at that. No nicks. Oh, this is synthetic, man. Feels good. All right. I like when I get a new pinball machine and my brother gets the bug. He's looking to get the uh, Stern Pirates of the Caribbean that came out in, I think, 2006. It's kind of cool. It's based on the Johnny Depp Disney movies. and uh, It's got a ship that actually sinks into the play field. So he's been looking at that. I guess I'm a bad influence. And he's a bad influence, too. He's picked up a few since I have. You kind of trade up, you know? You get one, you fix it, you use it, and then you trade up and get another one. I love my Twilight Zone, but there's so many things on that and so many things that can go wrong. But, I, oh, got me. My usual spot. Could be this blade too. I like the Astra Greens, but I do prefer the Gillette Wilkinson Swords a little better. Yeah, it got me on, ah, oh, got like a, a blemish or a pimple there. All right, that's why I got it. Soap in the ear. Yeah, a lot of soap in the ear. That means it's time maybe for some alum block. Now, what you're not seeing is I'm going to rinse this under some cold water. There we go. Cold water. Oh, a good sting there. No cuts up here on the face. Ooh, I can feel it stinging on the neck. So you know that a close shave and your alum block is causing a sting. I rinse it off with cold water. I let it dry. Now there are critics out there that are gonna say, hey, you should rinse that off. There's others who are gonna say, you shouldn't rinse it off. I'm impartial. I'll rinse it a bit. Just a bit. I can still feel it on the pores. It does tighten up the pores. Stop the bleeding. I've been fortunate enough not to have to use one of those styptic pins in a long, 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 long time. And it's kind of a concentrated version of that album block. All right. Fine American blend. Oh, a nice, nice, nice mild burn. Now I smell like a barber shop from the old days. Perfect. Well, very, very nice, nice razor. I don't know the MSSM manufactured suggested retail price on it. Since it's a quality piece of machined equipment, I imagine it's gonna be around the Rockwell price maybe. But it's a really, really nice razor. Thank you, Burke, for giving me a chance to try it out. 
I'll actually uh, put it in some barbicide, sanitize it, and send this back to you with your brush. Your brush is still in mint condition. Thank you very much. And gents, uh, I'll see a lot of you at the Big Shave Southwest coming up. So uh, countdown is on. Whew! So uh, I'll be seeing all of you again real soon. And uh, watch for my unboxing video of the Munsters pinball coming uh, soon to a theater near you. All right, guys. Until next time, it's Ken Searcy. Have a great, great night.